Hi, I'm Charlie Kasov. I'm a math teacher, and today we're going to learn the difference between one and two variable problems. Let's start with one variable problems. Now, with an equation like x plus 3 equals 6, all we have to do is subtract the 3 from each side, and we get x equals 3. So with a one variable problem, the solution is usually very easy, or at least straightforward. Now, with a double variable problem, sometimes you can't solve it. For example, 3x plus 2y, x and y being my variables, equals 0. Well, we can subtract 2y from each side, giving us 3x equals negative 2y. Then we can divide by the coefficient, negative 2. So we get negative 3x over 2 equals y. But that's it. So the only way we can solve a two-variable problem is with a system of equations. So let's take this equation again. 3x plus 2y equals 0. But what if we also knew that negative 3x plus 2y equaled 4. Well, then we take this equation and we can add it to this equation, which means 3x plus negative 3x is 0. 2y plus 2y is 4y. And 0 plus 4 is 4. So now we have 4y equals 4. Divide by 4, and y equals 4. Now we take that y value and we plug it back in to one of these two equations. Let's do the first one. So 3x plus 2y equals 0. But we know that y equals 4. So we say 3x plus 2 times 4 equals 0. So 3x plus 8 equals 0. Subtract 8 from each side. And we'll continue up here. We get 3x equals negative 8. Divide by 3. And we get x equals negative 8 over 3. So now our solution set is y equals 4 and x equals negative 8 over 3. So I'm Charlie Kasov, and you've just learned the difference between one and two variable problems. Bye-bye.